Yo yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Breaking Point episode on F1 2021. Um, today we are at episode 6, just after Fra uh, Spa Francoisa, sorry. Um, so yeah, we won the race and now we're gonna move on to the Russian Grand Prix. Chapter 13, one month later with an impressive run of form behind him and renewed focus. Kasper Ackerman and Williams are hoping that they can continue to build on this performance as they head to the Russian Grand Prix in Sochi and into the final third of the 2021 calendar. Let's do this. Oh, who's calling me? Brian. Brian. Cass, can you head back to the data center quickly? What's the issue? The team are just finishing up going over the data from P3. They want to confirm some aspects of the tyre strategy with you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay, let, let me just finish up here. We'll be waiting, uh, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Tom wants me to become a presenter. No. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, or wants Casper to become a commentator. Anyway, let's go to the race. Russian Grand Prix. With a few laps remaining, Ackerman has found his Williams outperforming many of the cars on the grid. An alternate tyre strategy appears to have put Ackerman in the perfect position to challenge for an even greater finishing position and even a chance at the fastest lap. Man's on form. Casper, we think you can push for the fastest lap. Right now? Yep, we're in a strong position. See what you can do. No problem. Down the inside of Tsunoda. Change this up real quick. Good white. Schumacher up next on the hard, so that's gonna be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And we can get DRS on this right. And then a lapped car up ahead actually. Right, so Schumacher is almost lapping Giovinazzi. Interesting. Get out of the way. Contending for fastest lap here, mate. Slow the race. Stroll up next. We're looking, I think, at a P5 finish potentially. We only got four laps to go, of course. If we got these fresh softs, they're gonna help us. Soft as well. Let's hope he doesn't get DRS here. It will help me. Oh, he's actually gonna get DRS. Jinxed it. Oh, we've got a slipstream. Down the outside of Stroll and then down the inside. For this one. Ocon up next. I send it? Hell yeah. Butler up next. On the softs as well. It's 
three laps to go. And we're in P10. We nice if we can get the arrest from Butler on the long back for it. Just looks like we're gonna get, and he's not gonna get the arrest. So that's gonna be an easy pass if we close in a little bit more. Oh, he's squeezing us. But we managed to go around the outside, and we're gonna get the arrest. And then on the main straight, we're gonna get the arrest from Saints again, which is a perfect timing. We might get the rest from Alonso if we can get past Saints before. Looks like we are. And then Jackson in P6. Don't want to get up past Alonso yet. Actually, the deer's detection has changed, I think so. Looks like it's going to be a last lap showdown between me, Jackson, and Leclerc. Well, Jackson is going f for it on Leclerc. Well, they're going side by side. Jackson on the softs as well. Still going side by side. Don't crash into me, Aiden. You managed to get past. Let's try to improve this fastest lap. We still have the tires for it to do so. Alright, so P5 it is. Let's see if we can improve the fast slap again. Okay, 8 seconds behind Ricciardo. 4 turns up on the fastest lap. P5 with the fastest lap. Grazie ragazzi. Casper P5. Good points for Williams. That's quite some achievement for Williams Casper Ackerman. Getting the fastest lap at. Yeah, it's not often that you see any team outside the top three pick up that extra point. 
Williams went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Williams now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. I actually need to turn up the graphics. <laughs> Red Bull are our winners today. I did a competitive race yesterday. Incredible driving. And, um... What was that voice crack? Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I always turn down the graphics for more FPS when I'm doing a competitive race. Williams employs an altering strategy that pays off, allowing Casper Ackerman to seal not only a top 10 finishing position, but also the fastest lap of the race in Sochi. GG's mate. Oh, Brian is calling. Brian. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumours you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you? I'm coming to the team dinner, Brian. <laughs> Beautiful place we booked. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. Terrific. Wonderful. Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Casper sound like a little kid playing on his Nintendo Switch and having to go to a family dinner. Hey, Zoe. Hey, hey, everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Mm, we'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Mm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay. I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Next chapter. I'd oh. like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Amy. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Awkward. Brian, I'd rather not discuss. I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? You didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. 
and you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. <laughs> it would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> you can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Ooh. Japanese Grand Prix two weeks later with the team's chance of a fourth place finish in the Constructors Championship still alive and with their fractious relationship now behind them, the Williams teammates are determined to show the motorsport world what they can really do. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. I think Aston Martin are catchable. Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Mercedes. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Get a room together. <laughs> uh, We've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce? Right, easy claps, 1-2 for Williams this race. Oh, Aiden. Aiden, Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. 
Those tires in the better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Aston Martin. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. Right. Oh, I have a reward. Whatever, go to the next race. Mid-race Japanese Grand Prix with several laps remaining. Ackerman sets his sights on both Austin Martin drivers in an effort to snatch some much needed points from their championship rivals. We're seeing both Butler and Stroll's lap times increasing. Uh, I still had time to catch them. Roger, we're on fresher tires than they are. Push, push. Let's put the pressure on. Yeah, copy. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, stroll up, or uh, Saints up first, sorry. And then stroll up ahead. Going in the mediums. Actually, still a lot of laps to go. Eight laps to go. Whoops. Send it on Saints? No, we can't. I mean, we can get him on exit though. We can. Up to P13. Ricardo up next on the hearts. Oh, I thought Stroll was up next, but it's apparently it was Ricciardo. Can we get him before 130R? We can. Now the fast lap of the race, but let's check. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 1 minute 31.1. We need to gain half a second for the fast lap. Let's get Stroll first. Gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. You should be seeing Baba soon. Let's keep it clean, please, Cass. Alonso's on new tires. It's not gonna be very easy to pass him, probably. Or a little bit harder, at least. Teammate is in the pits. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Purple middle sector again. Lock up. Butler feels the pressure here. Easy pass. Now let's go for that fast slap as well. Aiden comes out in P8. We go around the outside of Aiden and Gasly. Now Leclerc up next. I might stick behind Leclerc for the DRS on the main straight. 
Surely the Mercedes and the Red Bull still have to pit, right? There's no way they're that far ahead after only 8 laps. Claire is using his ERS and then we can get him on the main straight. Around the outside of Leclerc. It's 2005. Kimi versus Fisichella all over again. Four tens up. Through the first sector, let's go for the fastest lap and catch Norris as well. Okay, actually, I think the Mercedes and the Red Bull guys are actually that far ahead. There's no way the AI is gonna pit by the end of lap 9. <laughs> One second up on my previous fastest lap. It's gonna be a 130.2. 9 tenths faster than the previous fast lap. Let's get Norris. Right here. See how much slower he was. Norris is ahead of you. The gap to the car ahead is 3.4 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tires are two laps old. The time last lap was a 133.3. You're closing in by three seconds a lap. So we should catch him by the end of this lap. We catch up three seconds on that last lap. Okay, we did not catch up on this lap. <laughs> We're gonna need an extra one. Norris has started to speed up a little. Turned up the energy recovery system probably. Norris ahead, gap to car in front is 1.5 seconds, they're on fresh mediums, their tyres are 3 laps old, the time last lap was a 1 minute 32.7, you're gaining by 2 seconds a lap. Got up to Norris. Oh, we have slightly better straight line speed here. Around the outside of Lando Norris. It's 
see if I can improve that fastest lap again. Final lap of the race, we're P5. We're gonna be staying in P5, surely. Unless something happens up front. I'm gonna be gaining good points to Aston Martin. Alright, we were down in the first sector. On the fast lap, oh, I messed up, I short shifted by accident. Verstappen wins the race. Oh, we're 1.7 tenths purple going into the final sector. Grazie, ragazzi. P1, Casper. Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb... Brilliant stuff. Red Bull... Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Thank you, Claire. So really looking forward today, to this interview. Can we skip? Can we skip? Can we skip? No, we can't. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Williams are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us any time soon. What's your response to that? It sounds to me like the words of a man running scared. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Chapter 15. With Williams continuing to put together an impressive run of form, the gap between 4th and 5th place in the Constructors Championship is continuing to narrow at the United States Grand Prix. Anyway, that's gonna be for next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Breaking Point episode. Hold up. Zoe. Daddy. Hey, Lils. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> One or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are... Devon Butler. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Bye. All right, so that's going to be it for today's Breaking Point episode. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Apparently she enjoys hanging up on you these days. <laughs> so it seems. All set? Yeah, all set. The odds are shortening on the fourth place finish for Williams. It's a shame. I enjoyed being the underdog. You've still got to beat Butler. We've still got to beat Aston Martin, you mean? That too, I guess. Right, you go and prepare. See ya. Bye. Alright, finally! That's it for today's Breaking Point episode. Don't call me now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more F1 2021 content. And see you guys next time. Ciao.